pleading with the university to have a heart. From 4am this morning, a group of activists from the New Zealand Anti-Vivisection Society attached more than 11,000 hearts onto this wall. It's where the University of Otago's new animal testing facility is to be constructed. By mid-morning, all of the slogans were gone and university staff were busy removing the hearts. And there was about a dozen of us and we hung 11,358 hearts on the wall that's standing behind me. Um, behind that wall is where the new animal lab is going to be built, the new, the new um, animal lab of the University of Otago. Um, and last year the University of Otago actually killed 11,358 animals for animal testing and that's why we had that many hearts, it was to represent the, the amount of lives that were lost and that will continue to be lost every year if this animal lab is built. Members of the anti vivisection Society are against testing on animals for ethical reasons. Jackson has a background in zoology and says the science behind vivisection is flawed. Our main argument is from the scientific perspective. Um, we believe that vivisection is scientific fraud, that animal-based research isn't a reliable, applicable um, research method when it comes to finding cures for humans. She says one of the main criteria for people joining the organisation is having strong scientific credentials. Jackson says all living things are significantly different on a genetic level. Therefore tests on animals aren't useful to humans. We are really different to animals on so many levels. Um, but the most basic example is you can't feed your dog chocolate. Imagine if they tested chocolate on dogs. I mean, we wouldn't be eating it now, would we? Some people walking by the wall as it was being taken down were supportive of the action. Others were confused and some were against it. Daryl Bazer, The South Today.